Dear students, welcome to my video classes. In this video, I am going to discuss on the introduction to micro macroeconomics relating to the syllabus of BA CVCS third sem for economic students. You know that macroeconomics is a branch of economics. It was emerged uh, after the Great Depression, that is 1930, 1929. অর্থাৎ সমগ্র বিশ্বে উনিশশো যে মহামন্দা দেখা দিয়েছিল তখনই সমষ্টিগত অর্থবিদ্যা বা ম্যাক্রো ইকোনমিক্সের আবির্ভাব তখনই দেখা দিয়েছিল কারণ তার পূর্বে যদিও ম্যাক্রো ইকোনমিক্স ছিল কিন্তু এটা মাইক্রো ইকোনমিক্সের এক্সপান্ডেড বিস্তৃত বিস্তৃতি বলে ধরা হয়তো ধরা হতো বাট আফটার গ্রেট ডিপ্রেশন ইন নাইনটিন Economist feel it that there must be a separate branch of economics which deals with the um, entire economic system of, economy, of, an, of a country which deals with multiple variables um, in general. That is the reason Professor Ragnar Fritsch in the year 1933 belongs to Oslo University makes the division of economics into two branches. One is called microeconomics, another is called macroeconomics. After this division, um, one of the renowned economists named Lord John Maynard Keynes, who has um, written a book known General Theory of Interest, Employment and Money, which may be called to be the Gita in economics. After his great work, after the great work of Keynes in 1936, which was published, the book was published in the year 1936, he was accepted as the most modern economist and um, popularly um, known as Lord of Economics also. So now, what is macroeconomics? As you know that macro and micro, the two terms macro and micro. Micro means very small, which cannot be seen with naked eyes. খালি চোখে যে আমরা দেখতে পাই না সেই রকম ক্ষেত্রে সেই বিষয় ক্ষেত্রে আমরা মাইক্রো শব্দটি প্রয়োগ করি দ্যাট ইজ অনু সেই অর্থে মাইক্রো ইকোনমিক্স বলতে আমরা বুঝি ভেরি স্মল ইকোনমিক্স দ্যাট ইজ ডিলস উইথ দি ইউনিটস ইউনিট দ্যাট ইজ ডিলস উইথ এন ইউনিট ইউএস এ দ্যাট ডিলস উইথ এ কনজিউমার দ্যাট ডিলস উইথ এ প্রডিউসার বিহেভিয়ার দ্যাট ডিলস উইথ এ উইথ দি প্রাইস অফ এ কমোডিটি পার্টিকুলার কমোডিটি say for example price of a car price of a um, price of an apple in this way it deals with um, one particular unit then it is called microeconomics but whenever we will deal with the entire economic system when we are we, whenever we are concerned with the entire economic system or the whole economic system it becomes macro macro the term macro means large so in that context, macroeconomics means which deals with large or whole economic system, entire economic system. So when you deal with the entire economic system, it is very difficult to um, estimate the things. So um, a measure is always um, applied to estimate the variables and that is called um, averages. In that context, macroeconomics is also called aggregative economics or you may say average economics but when we deal with the aggregation of the entire economic system mainly um, the macroeconomics is concerned with the uh, determination of the level of income or you may say the level of output or you may say level of employment of an economy means what should be the level of output or how we how the economy may improve the level of output 
how the economy may improve the level of income or in the, the level of employment so all these with all these factors all these variables macroeconomics deals so when we deal with the output or income we have to um, deal with so many variables at a, at a time that is to increase the level of income um, we need to increase the level of output to increase the level of output we need to increase the level of employment without employment um, production is impossible so to increase the level of output we need to increase the level of employment to increase the level of employment we need investment so additional employment requires additional investment so additional investment requires additional savings these are the factors um, which are um, in generally simultaneously deals with to determine the level of output or you may say the level of income or you may say the level of employment because the two three terms output income and employment are um, what you may say synonyms in a context because without employment you can we can't improve the level of output uh, and income in that context also micro macroeconomics is known as income and employment theory so the main aim of the macroeconomics main objective of the macroeconomics is nothing but to um, determine the economic growth or attain the level of um, attain the economic growth uh, you must say um, to attain the economic growth we need to attain the full employment level to attain the full employment level we need to um, maintain the price stability if the price is continuously rises then production may affect um, the rising price continuous rising price has a bad effect um, on the level of production similarly with the continuous fall in price has also a negative impact on the um, level of production so we need to maintain a stable price in, within the economic system similarly um, there is a there is a need to maintain the exchange stability also these are the main objectives with which macroeconomics deals these are the basic things of macroeconomics so in that context if we say that macroeconomics deals with some variables like inflation relating to price stability inflation deflation relating to income if we deals with the variable related to the income then it is aggregate demand will come as a variable and aggregate supply will come as a variable these are the factors these are the variables with which macroeconomics deals so if we say that what are the macroeconomic variables then we may say inflation unemployment um, aggregate demand aggregate supply um, deflation balance of payments these are the economic variables macroeconomic variables with which macroeconomics deals now to get into the um, depth of the macroeconomic system or macroeconomics um, from the macroeconomic point of view an economy may be divided into four sectors one is called to be the four sectors one is called to be the um, household one is called to be the when it deals with macroeconomic point of view households farm government and external sectors when we deal with the um, deal with an economy in then in macro point of view these are the four sectors which exists um, which are interrelated with one another interdependent to one another one another other sectors so if we deal with the relation of these factors then it is called to be the circular flow model when we deal with these sectors um, as a whole then 
or the deal with the relations between these sectors then it is called to be a the relation is called to be a circular flow model the relation will establish a circular flow model so that relation may be um, established with two sectors three sectors and four sectors if we um, establish a relation only with two sectors say for example household and farms then it is called to be the two sector model if we make addition of government with these two sectors it will be called to be the three sector model it is called to be the two sector model and it is called to be the three sector model and if we add external sector with that then it is called to be the four sector model this is the way um, the circular flow model or you may say circular flow of income model have three different flows the three different models one is called two sector model another is called three sector and four sector model now what is circular flow it is the relation between income and expenditure of the two sectors if it is two sector then it is two sectors if it is three sector then it is the income and expense relation between income flow of relation between the relation amongst the um, flow of income and expenditure amongst two, two sector or three sector or four sector now what is the relation the circular flow of income is called to be if flow is called to be the income and expenditure flow this refers to the process by which national income national income and expenditure national income and expenditure of an economy flow in a circular manner continuously through time without any break without any break then it is called to be a circular flow now what are the flow what are the various components of this flow the various components of this flow that is income and expenditure that is such as you may say savings investment taxation government expenditures exports and imports are shown on diagrams in the form of current and cross currents in such a manner that national income and national expenditure are equal now i have already discussed the different types of flows circular flow of income now what are the phases of the circular flow of income one is production phase another is income phase and third one is expenditure phase production phase which relate to the um, farm income phase is related to both the farm and households expenditure phase is relates to um, consumption or household sector normally households does the expenditure for consumption but the production farm also farm also expense for farm by farm spends farm spends for factors payments j factors will production of labor hai land labor capital raw materials eglo jonno take payment korte hoy so that is expenditure of the farm and household spends for consumption and household also earns in case of income household also earns and farms are also earning by producing goods and services and households earns by um, providing um, factor services to the producer in that context there are three phases of circular flow of income now if we take an example of only two sectors flow then we have a circular model then we have two sectors one is household another is producers of farm sector if we take the three sectors then it will includes government means we have to um, keep out the government from brackets now what is the circular flow the household spends their entire income so that there is no savings if there is no government no banking sector no government means no banking sector then the flow between the two sectors household and farm 
or household and producer does not have any does not exist any savings because whatever is earned that will be spent because um, there is no provision of savings because there is no process of savings, no provision of savings. And the economy is going to be domestically closed economy because there doesn't exist any external sector. There doesn't exist any external sector. Jokuni external sector exists for it, Tokuni take a bala hai, open economy. Or without any external sector, it is called to be the closed economy. That means Videshar Shangamra, Amdani Raptani, Ba, Banichelit, Tajahon Takina, Jukajahon Takina, Tokon Take, closed economy, Blaha, or Jokan Videshar Shanga, Banicho Kurataki, when we engaged in trade relations with the rest of the world, then it is called an open economy. And we, when we are Mm, doesn't we when we doesn't engaged in trade relations we are when we are not engaged in trade relations with rest of the world it is called mm, closed economy in this way when we deal with farm and household sectors it is two sector or three sector model the model is a closed economy if there is a mm, absence of external sector now that relation may be drawn with the help of a shown with the help of a diagram In the diagram, you see in the diagram what you see that is I have shown three sectors as a whole. So, for example, we have two sectors. Then we have to um, we have to remove the part of we have to remove the part of the government sector. Say, so for example, we have removed this part from the diagram. Then what will become? It will remains two sector model. Now, what is the relation between these two sectors? Say household and business, or you may say producers, or you may say farms, farm sector. Farm sector is this, or producer sector is the um, sector which produces, which produces goods and services, goods and services with the help of the um, factors of production with the help of the factors of production say with the help of the factors of production say um, with the help of the factors of production say land labor capital raw materials and many others with the help of these factors they are producing goods and services now what is the function of the households next it is house what households do households households provides or you may say supply the factors of production which a farm repair means J factors of production of the whole of the other side producer of the same color signal courage even the this household or in a selective consumers I'm ready to book the book at all all in book the key color factors of production Provide for a photo supply the attacker, minimum for a keeper, there is a rent, lender, minimum rent, labor, and minimum wage, and for a thacker, origin for a thacker, that is their income. Means 
rent wages are the income of the households. So by providing factor services or factor, factors to the farms, what they earn? They earn what they earn wages and salaries. That is wages and salaries they earn. Means by providing factor services that is labor, land labor capital, they earn factor, sorry, they earn wages. This is their money flow and this is called to be the real flow. In turn, what you see that um, households earns money from the farms by providing factor services or you may say labor, land labor capital raw materials and now the function of the producer is that what producers do? Producers sold whatever goods the goods and services they produce with the help of the labor with the help of the factors what they hired with the help of that factors they produces goods and services which are bought by whom households with the um, income they have earned, earned in the way of rent and wages it means they are paid for these goods and services to the whom to the farms it means It is clear that it is clear that the it is clear that the relation between the farms and producers, sorry, consumers and producers are exists in two ways. One is a circular flow, another yes, sorry, money flow, another is a another throw real flow. Now it is clear to us that it is clear to us that the relation between the two exists in the way that households provides factor services to the firms or business organization or producers and in return that they earns wages and salaries. So wages and salaries when they earn with that wages or that income they are paying for the they are paying for the goods and services what they require to survive. It means there are two flaws. One is that is the external flow is outer flow is money flow. Look, this is the outer flow is a money flow. Money which is earned by the households are spent for goods and services which is earned by the firms, and that amount is again gone through the wages and salaries or factor payments to the households. In turn, if we say that the money flow, this is money flow, there is another flow which is the reverse one, opposite one or opposite or inverse of money flow that is when they are um, earning they are providing services to the farms and farms what farms are doing with that farms services farms are producing goods and services which are sold to the households households sold labor to farms and farms sold with that labor farms produces goods and services and that will be sold to the households means nothing is whatever money is uh, earned by firms that are spended to consumers for 
factors of production and whatever earns by the households are spent for the goods and services produced by the farms. This is the circular flow relations and there are how many flows we have go through? There are two flows, the outer flow is money flow and the inner flow is real flow. Real flow means where goods and services and factor services are flowed and money flow means where wages, salaries or you may say factor payments and the payments of goods and services are flows and these two flows are operate um, in reverse way from one another of one reverse way of one another or you may say one is clockwise then another is anti-clockwise these are the flows so due to the absence of government there is the absence of banking sectors there is the absence of um, leakages and injections in this flow when government exists whenever government was taken as another sector that is if it becomes three three sector model then if it is a three sector model then what happens governmental charges taxes on both on producer and on the consumer that is for which households to pay taxes to the government and farms also have to pay taxes to the government and with that tax government what the government do government also spends on spends for the welfare of the households and for the welfare of the businesses or for the benefit of the business organizations or farms or um, producers as a result when the households when government sector exists there is a probably there will be provision of um, what you may say um, banking system as a result um, there may be a leakage of savings this is exist import is exist in case of um, four sector model here it will not exist so savings will exist in case of the presence of government whenever there is a presence of government there is a there will be a presence of banking sector banking services as a result household have the opportunity to save for his future precautions or future speculations for the purpose of future speculative speculative motive they may save whenever they save then what they earn from a part of their earning will be leaked out from the money flow because if he earns rupees 100 then he will not spend rupees 100 he may save say suppose rupees 5 then the flow will reduce to reduce from 100 to 95 you will spend for 95 rupees as a result the flow becomes mm, contracted the business will be contracted then the farm will get only the farm will get only 95 rupees He's, he has spent 100 but he will get receive 95 in this way the flow will reduce the capacity of the flow will the capacity of the production will reduce and the economy will become contracted in that case to cover that five rupees what business firms has done business firms will or the producer will invest rupees five to maintain the flow and this is called this is called injection in economics injection in circular flow And this is called leakage in circular flow. I think um, I could under I could um, somehow to understand the relation between you understand the flow money flows and real flows of the circular flow income model in two sector and three sectors. This must for today's video. Thank you.